my lovely wife Caroline. Hello. 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 And uh, we will be unboxing Dune Imperium, which was a uh, Christmas present. We are now in the first week of May. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wanted to get this uh, for Christmas and they were, we didn't have it in Canada. Nope. It was like back order everywhere. So anyway, we have it now. <laughs> so we will be unboxing. <laughs> So, uh, very boring cover here. Would you agree? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, looks like we'll be playing, I don't know, Old Fudge, the game. I don't know, it's just <laughs> something very beige, very... Well, that's doing for ya. Yeah, I guess. The trailer for the new movie is also very gray and very boring. But, uh, hopefully it'll be good. Yeah, sorry about the reflection here, but, um, them's the ropes. So, yeah, not bad. The back is better, more colorful. We've got some, uh, some text here. I will zoom in on that. All right, so you can skip this if you want. I will read the text here. It says, Arrakis, Dune, Desert Planet. Raise your banner above the vast wasteland before you, as the great houses of the land Srad marshal their forces and their spies. Whom will you influence and whom will you betray? A tyrannical emperor, the secret of Bene Gesserit, the shrewd spacing guild, the ferocious Fremen of the deep desert. The power of the Imperium can be yours, but war is not the only way to claim it. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Dune Imperium blends deck building and worker placement in a deeply thematic new strategy game where the fate of the Empire hangs on your decisions. Will you seek political allies or rely upon military might? Economic strength or subtle intrigues? A council seat? Dot, 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 or a sharpened blade? The cards are dealt. The choice is yours. The Imperium awaits. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. So uh, let's uh, do a bit of that. That, that was awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Wow, this blade <laughs> needs some... Does it, doesn't it say a sharpened blade? <laughs> All right, go for it. Wow. Genius Louise, exactly. Let's flip this over. Okay. All right, let's center this guy and uh, let's open it up. Do, 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 do. Oh, a book. Wow. <laughs> a book. A book. <laughs> it's a whole book. A pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have a mm, sand butt. It says here, in all the known universe, there is no more precious resource than the spice melange. Spice melange. Find only... Found only on the harsh desert planet of Arrakis, also known as Dune, control of the spice is a focal point of conflict among the great houses of the Imperium. In its pursuit, those vying for power seek alliance and support to secure their position. The governing counselors of the Lansrad, the Chome Company and its insatiable hunger for profit, the far-sighted Bene Gesserit, the Spacing Guild with its monopoly on fold space travel, the Fremen, resilient warriors of the desert, even the Emperor himself is not above the struggle for dominance. Conflict is inevitable, and its outcome is uncertain. One thing is certain, however. Whoever controls the spice controls the universe. So, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, still pretty hefty. We've got... Hefty. I don't know. You know, like a hefty, hefty cinch sack. <laughs> you don't remember those commer commercials? No. I am old. Hefty, hefty, hefty. <laughs> So this is 15 pages. Um, they also have this in PDF form, of course, but it's pretty well, um, I don't know, like spaced out and... Not spaced out, like, ooh, spaced out. Like, I find spaced the... Uh, yeah, spaced out. There we go. You know, it's not that uh, dense. You can fast forward this if I'm boring the spice out of you. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, one thing I, I, I didn't mention, uh, or we, maybe we didn't see, on the back of the box, there is the actual logo for Watch It Played, if you can believe that. Um, there, Rodney Smith is so entrenched in the gaming community that now you can just scan and it'll take you to YouTube and you can watch the rules. Oh, wow. Yeah, that man is getting seriously paid. Let's, uh, let's be honest here. Which is good for him. That's, it's, you know, it's amazing. Uh, we got some pamphlets here for games, question mark. 
Okay, sure, eh. fine. <clears throat> okay, yeah, this is the uh, solo and two-player games, because when you play uh, in a two-player game, you need like a dummy player to kind of act as a third guy, and you can use this dummy player to play solo also. And yeah, okay. Yeah, this is solo play, this whole thing. This is good. I mean, I wish it was on a cardboard, but still. Okay, this is a <laughs> the largest <laughs> and most flexible player aid I have ever seen. Yeah, I mean, this could have. Yeah, it could have been on the cardboard. Yeah, on like, some cards. Than I guess. That, but... Yeah, but I mean, whatever. Eh. It's nice to have. Ooh, punchy. <laughs> All right, so we got some nice, uh, nice colorful tokens here. Colorful. Colorful. English is not my first language. <laughs> We got the board here. We will open that up later, I suppose. This there's a strong smell coming out yeah, of this box. Is it uh, spice melange? It smells like paint. Yeah, yep. a lot of paint. All right, so we got some tokens here. Little man. <laughs> little man. I think it's <laughs> yeah. yeah man. Little man. Man. <laughs> you said man. No, I said little man. Well, we'll have to play it back and check it out. Well, you do that, honey. Ooh, free silica gel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, me cubes. too. Oh. Yeah. The first time I see so much silica gel for little wooden It's people. good for your uh, skin and stuff, silica. Silica? Is it? Well, there is... Yeah. <laughs> explain. But explain to the fine folks. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. No. All right. Yeah, there's some stuff that you can buy. It's uh, silica, yeah. Gel S silica. Silicium, maybe. Which is probably derived from that. And nobody cares. Okay, cool. Yeah. We've got some mints. Some uh, granite flavored mints. We got some tears. Some tears. <laughs> designer tears of the designer. <laughs> and we've got some uh, spice, spice melange. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And we got some bags. Thank you. That's always useful. Yeah, these actually are resealable. So, okay, so that too. That's pretty good. Um, the cards. Um, I will let you know now. I will be flipping through all the cards at the end of this video if you want to see that if you're insane um we'll still open this in, in a while yeah that too so tiny tiny cards we've got some mm, yeah. uh, no it's it's okay they are thin but they are not like you know they, they're sturdy ish i would say these are like poker cards basically like if you had regular mm. poker cards kind of and they are shimmery, uh, slippery, fine. Now this th this whole artwork is based on the upcoming movie um, that's going to be coming out in October, actually, of mm. 2021. Uh, directed by uh, Mr. Villeneuve. And I do not remember who uh, this actor is supposed to be. Sexy McBeardy. I Se don't know. Yeah, Sexy McBeardy. Isn't that me? That's my name for yeah. me, right? Yeah. So yeah, you've got a character here, Duke Leto Atreides. And on the flip side is actually the, uh, I guess, a player aid of how the, well, yeah, there we go, how the player turns go. Who do you, who do you have here? Fat Blobman. Fat Blobman, Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. <laughs> yeah, that was like in the um, David Lynch version, he was very, like, full of snot and stuff, and he was yeah, disgusting. Yeah, he was pus. For no good it. reason, basically. Okay, and same thing at the back here. Who else? We've got uh, Glosu the Beast. Now this is the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. Um, what's the actor's name? I do not remember. I'll put that on screen for you. Bing! Right there. Yeah, okay, so he is a Raban from House Harkonnen. Got this guy. We've got, uh, I just stepped out of a shower and I put too much conditioner in my <laughs> hair <laughs> from House Thorvald. Okay. We've got the, no, you farted lady from House Thorvald. I was about to say a fart joke. <laughs> <laughs> and I stopped myself and I was like, eh. <laughs> wow. Always go for the fart <laughs> joke. Always. <laughs> but, uh, Phoenix. What? Phoenix? You think yeah. that's uh, Joaquin Phoenix? Yeah. I think it is. I mean, you're damn good if that's him. Count Ilban Richesse. I like how Richesse is like one S away from meaning very rich in French. Maybe that's his thing. Okay, what else? Got Isn't that like, I want to say Timothy Chalamet, but I'm not sure. I do not know. I'm I sorry. Don't I know. do not know. I know. He's a good looking girl, girl boy. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Whatever. Like, he's, he's got a kissable face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> no? All right, keep it going. 
and Helena Richese, or hmm, where's that tennis ball I was holding a minute ago? <laughs> <laughs> I had a drink. I swear, I had a drink. Where's that cocktail? Where did I leave my drink? <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, what is this? <gasps> oh, it, it's a bracelet. It's a friendship bracelet. Uh, I was gonna say you open it up and say, "Will you marry me?" And it's a proposal video. Put, can, we're can you? Married. Yeah, I know. Da -da -dee, it's a friendship da -da -da. bracelet. There we go. And she never took it off. All right, do we have any candy under here? We do no, not. It's boring. Ooh. All right. Well, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> Let's look at... Ugh. Well, whatever. Here. All right, a bit closer here to look at some of the cards, but like I said, we will be flipping through all of these a little bit later at the end of the video. That's a nice chunk of cards, man. Now, I don't think I'll be sleeving them. Well, not right now, for sure. I need to play the game a few times before I know if I love it enough to sleeve it. So, okay. I don't know what that's for. Carthag. Now, one thing I like slash dislike with some of these cards is they try to keep these things so, I'm gonna say, uh, pure in a sense. Like, there's no text, right? Like, this is pretty empty and it's very much like, you better know what this icon is and this icon is and this icon is or else you're kind of screwed, right? There's no text at all. Which, I, I understand why they did it. They wanted to keep things clean and all that. But uh, on some of the cards, sometimes I'm like, I mean, there could be... Just something. Just a little, like, just a little bit of text, right? Still. I mean, it still says retreat up to two of your troops. They could have just put, like, a banana here or something. <laughs> so, okay, so we got some of these cards. These are cards you can buy. This is, like, the same icon as um, Dire Wolf's other games, uh, Clank. This is the, yeah, like, the recruitment yeah, yeah. point, basically. They've kept the same uh, sort of thing. So, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go through all of these. Now, listen here. Oh, she uh, she doesn't know how to wear fishnet stockings. <laughs> That's not where that goes. Okay. I mean, you know, like this. This seems like to me like an unfinished card. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It's, yeah, it it's, feels that they forgot to print stuff on it yeah it feels naked right in a in a bad way yeah so so does this yeah i i feel that we should have something yeah here. well i mean maybe this it's is, a scratch <laughs> it's a scratchy you know, five dollars. Hey, hey. i mean this is clearly because some of the cards have uh some stuff down there i'm not trying to find one and i well there you go like trash this card yeah. but i guess that on the uh the guide it's probably written what each card does? Each card? I, 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 I wouldn't think so. Not not every card. Uh, yeah, okay. So there yeah. we go. So that's some of the cards. Uh, what is this thing here? Oh, this just says, it's in English. Okay. Mm. And this is a recipe for disaster. Dumplings. Dumplings. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. And then you've got these little cards here. Nope, oh, same thing here. Uh, Smaller dumplings. Sm <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, she's a funny lass. <laughs> All right, so tiny, tiny cards here. It's a lot of text now, suddenly. Mm -hmm. And then no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The color scheme also is a little bit bland. A lot of brown. I'm not very excited to tell you the truth. Yeah, I mean... Good man. That is something that, yeah, even looking at the board, which we will look at now, so there we go, we'll uh, unfold this for you. So here she is, the board, in all its brownish glory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, at first look, I'm not, like I, I kind of find this thing to be a little bit bland. It does look like, I don't know, it looks like a computer module, I guess, where you just like, beep, I'm gonna press a button. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Call mom. Um, <laughs> Medium coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it comes out of here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it, it clearly it does the job. 
Uh, quickly here, what these things are is uh, all on this side, these are the factions. You've got the Freeman over here, or the Fremen, uh, the Bene Gesserit. So th these guys are like the, the desert people. You're going to recruit them to uh, go fight in the middle with you, basically. Uh, Bene Gesserit are all about like secrets and sneakiness and getting these intrigue cards, which kind of which kind of like mess up the game. And candy wrappers. And candy wrappers. <laughs> yeah, folks, that's not DNA. That's a candy right there. Nice. Uh, the Spacing Guild, uh, these guys help you to put people on Dune, you, can, you know, you pay them with spice, you put pe people on Dune, and the Emperor, well, he just, uh, you know, he'll give you some money and stuff like that. But um, when you put your guys here on these spaces, you'll kind of race up these tracks, and when you race up the tracks, you'll get victory points, like here, 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 and here. And if you see over on the right side here, there's not a lot of victory points you're going to get in the game. So each victory point is very uh, precious, right? So it's not a game where you'll hit 100, it's basically when you hit 10, the uh, the game sort of like stops, basically. You have one round to like finish the whole thing and then it stops. So as soon as you can get one of these, uh, it's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what that does. Basically up here is a place where you can go to... Um, you basically need a lot of money, okay? That's what they call solari, that's money, basically. And uh, you'll pay some salary to do different things. For example, if you go here and you pay five salary, you'll put one of your um, pawns, not a pawn, but like a little puck here, and it'll give you two persuasion points throughout the whole game to buy new cards. So this is like spots that, you know, you can go here to pay eight to get your fourth, uh, your third guy, your third worker that you'll want to use during the game. So this is what that does. Over here is to sell some, some what? Spice melon. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was French for spice melange. Um, yeah, so you can sell some spice to get some Solari. Over here, you can just go here to get some Solari. And then over here is the planet Dune. So, um, yeah, you'll send your guys over here if you want to basically get soldiers or troops from your supply into your garrison and then from your garrison to the combat or conflict area and you will want to win conflicts because there are some cards that will go that will go here and these on these cards it'll say you know if you win the combat you get a victory point or if you get second place you get some water and a toyota camry or something so that's <laughs> why you would want to fight <laughs> yeah so yeah there you go so uh, these spaces here everything that has a little battle thing here uh, enables you to move troops from here to here uh, over here you'll still do that, but you'll get some spice and stuff like that. So yeah, so we're pretty excited. I mean the board again kind of underwhelming. I feel yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel that it's I don't know like there's a lot of stuff on it, but somehow it does not excite me. Mm -hmm. Um, neither did the trailer for the new Dune movie. Nope, did not it, at all. Did it excite you? Nope. It is uh, very gray. I uh, it's just honestly great. don't care about that movie. Yeah, I know. I mean, we're we're, we're still gonna watch it just because. I mean, a are it, we? A, we are. I mean, it's a big sci-fi movie, so we're gonna watch it. And also, I mean, it's directed by uh, Denis Villeneuve. You know, he's one of our own. He's a he's a Quebec-born yeah. guy. <laughs> well, no, he's one of the guys who made it, right? Like, he, I, he, he's he's in Hollywood, right? Yeah, I know, but yeah, yeah, I know. I know that you know that we know that. That's not all it's cracked up to be, but still, he's one of the guys that made it. So I want to see, you know, what he brought to the table. And uh, yeah, that's it. So we're going to be trying this out pretty soon. And yeah, well, that's it. Thank you for, uh, yeah, for that. Now, if you guys are extremely nerdy, um, like me, you can watch me go through all of the cards, which I will be doing in a second. So uh, see you later. Yep. I'll see you later. I'll see you later, my man. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Wow, that was extremely nerdy. All right. All right, let's do it. So we got a whole pile of this. We got a whole pile of this.
Yeah, these are all the same. I believe these might be the starting decks. That's why there's a lot of copies of all the cards. Next we have what uh, I believe are the um, solo player cards here that you use for the variant, so I can look at these really fast. So there you go, that's everything that's in the box for Dune Imperium, and uh, we'll be giving this a try very soon, and if I like the game, I might do a review on it. So, thanks for watching, don't forget to click like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you guys on the next one. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button down below. Now, I know it seems like a very small thing to do, but it actually does help the channel when you do that. And if ever you should find yourself in a super generous mood, well, I do accept donations via PayPal. And anything you give, big or small, will help keep me going. Tom Brady seems to work really hard on his diet and stuff. His shit must be pretty good. The Spice Melange.